Now, look at the top of page 7. Why is it two days long? Because it fell on the first, the new moon, and they wanted everyone to know, especially in the dispersion. So it was regarded as one long day. This feast fell on the first. Consequently, it was known as the feast where no one would know the day or the hour it came. It was a day symbolically hidden even from Satan, so he would not be 100% aware of its arrival because he's scared to death because he knows the calendar. And so look at 1 Corinthians 2.8. Here's a good example. It's which none of the princes of this world, in other words, the demons, knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So God always keeps the devil off step. Now look at this. Because it's the first day of the month, it was two days long, and was based on the sighting of the new moon by two witnesses, it was known as the feast where no one knew the day or the hour it was to begin. So when he's telling you you don't know the day or the hour, he's telling you it's the Feast of Trumpets. You get that? He's not telling you don't. He's telling, he's telling you when it is by telling you you don't know the day or the hour. He's telling you, guess what? It's the Feast of Trumpets because it's the only festival you don't know the day or the hour is going to begin. Now, watch this one. On the Feast of Trumpets, the shofar is literally blown 100 times. And there are three different sounds that are made with the shofar. One of them is called tekiah, and it is a long, straight blast. Another one is shevarim, which is three short blasts. And then there's the teruah, which is nine quick blasts in short succession. So there's three different blasts, and they blow it three times. So that's nine, right? They blow that series 11 times. And what's 11 times nine? Did you know the 100th blast in Judaism is known as the last trump? So in 1 Thessalonians 4, when it says it's the last trump, again, he's telling you it's the Feast of Trumpets. So when he says it's the last trump, he's telling you it's the Feast of Trumpets. When he says you don't know the day or the hour, he's telling you it's the Feast of Trumpets. There's another one that's very common that you're going to find here in a little bit. And so we see in 1 Corinthians 15, 51, he says, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be chained in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the what? He's telling you it's on the Feast of Trumpets because that's the only feast they blow it a hundred times. And the last blast is known as the last trump. And Pentecost is known as the first trump. Rosh Hashanah is known as the last trump. Yom Kippur is known as the great trump. That is mentioned in Isaiah because on Yom Kippur is when the year of Jubilee is proclaimed. 